<coughs> Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of Jane's Speed Shop. So back at the rebuilding of the M113 uh, V8. Uh, today I'm going to start with the timing chain and the valve cover of the timing cover back on it. Install everything that needed, water pump and that sort of stuff. Uh, oil pump it will go back on. So that's what we're going to do. So if you're new to the channel, have a look in the right corner. If you use my logo, you can click on it. See all the other videos of this project and of the other builds I'm doing. This 5 liter V8 is going to be in that S124 station wagon that you can see behind there. Uh, we'll have a turbo, so it has upgraded uh, rods in it. We'll have upgraded head studs, so that sort of stuff. So uh, all the measurements are done on the engine. Uh, so I will put the crankshaft on 40 degrees. So that's the position that you need to have to put the cylinder heads on it. So when I put the chain on it, I cannot turn it over because otherwise everything drops. So uh, the position for that is that the key needs to be centered. So I will put the pulley on, then you can see it because the line it's just center but that's on a timing cover so I will do that then flip over the engine because otherwise you cannot install the chain yeah it's uh, because otherwise it will drop so uh, that's what I'm going to do first and after that I will come to install the oil pump and the oil chain uh, the center uh, sprocket is already mounted and torqued to the right setting this for this is a left threaded bolt so it's not the normal um, so you have to turn it the other way around eh? so otherwise you will break it so make sure if you dismantle this this is the only bolt that will go the other way so think about that so let's go big gear So four guides are on, so now the chain, so you have these copper locks on it, two over here and two over there. So you have to line them out, one is on the top, one is over here and the other one is on the marking where the sprocket from the cam will go. So that's how it should be installed. So camshaft sprockets, I hope you can see it, as you can see here, the alignment of the camshaft where you can put the tool in, it's the same alignment as the, that, will, that you will also see on the back side of the, ch of the cam, cam sprocket, the top one over there. So that one should be in line with the V over here. 
So this side will go in the opening of the camshaft. That's the same position where you also can lock it for checking the alignment of the, the stretch of the chain. So this, this will go, this stripe will go like this. And the other one will go in alignment with the block like this. So this is the left side of the engine. So there is an L, L marking on here. That needs to go on the copper piece over here, the copper. And then that's how it's mounted. So that's what I'm going to do. And then lock it with two tie wraps so it will not drop out. Oil pump tensioner, bought a new one, <coughs> you can only get it from Mercedes, so it's a pretty expensive piece, I think it's 100 euros, only this or 90 or something, pretty expensive for a small piece, but the old one looks not that bad, but yeah, this is all the same age as the other chain uh, guides were, so I would just change it, new spring. So now oil pump. So underneath the oil pump there's a non-return valve. It will keep all the oil in the oil channels when the engine is shut down. This is like a non-return valve, so it will close this and then no oil will go to the other side. So it's just a small valve. So we'll go in here, and then the pump is installed on top of it. I will put some oil on it so it will not damage. This is 
ser. Y le pido a la vez. Make sure it works. So, oil pump. I dismantled it because I want to see what's inside and I also found in the filter some pieces of rubber and mostly they come from the sprockets because there is a liner on the sprockets. This one, the center one and the top one. That's for, yeah, for not to have excessive sounds on the timing chain. So uh, yeah, I removed all the pieces that are were loose. Some people will change them then, but yeah, I don't really see the point because it's just some sound deadening. And those chain of these uh, uh, sprockets look all very good, so I, I'm not going to do that. So yeah, I dismantled it to look inside uh, and put it back together. I changed one bolt because the thread was not that good. So I put a bolt in it with a nut on the back, so I'm sure this is all good. So this needs to be installed with three bolts over here, there and there. They are M8, need to be torqued down to 20 newton meters, so that's what I'm going to do.
All good. The timing cover itself. So you've got a few things to pay attention to. There's, uh, there's a list in the manual with all these bolts and numbers and different lengths. Uh, some of these you don't need. This is the only group that you need. These bolts you don't need. So the M6 bolts, they are all for the water pump um, and they are not connecting the timing cover to the engine. So they are, you need to do right afterwards. These are for the tensioner you can do later, but these are from the, in the water pump. Uh, these, all these M M8 bolts will go into the timing cover into the engine. Also like this pulley bolt. The only thing that's strange about this is that they say all the M8 bolts need to be tucked down to 20 newton meters. The M8 bolts that go into the water pump are tucked to 25 newton meters. They are exactly the same bolts and they are 8.8 .8 strength. 8.8 .8 strength is normally for M8 is 25 newton meters and 6.9 strength is 21. So they are, yeah, what you can say loose. A little bit, I think, but I think it's too because of the thread in the block. So if you say there are M8 bolts in the water pump, they are not really in the water pump, they are into the timing case. So I will put everything to around 20 Nm and uh, that's it. So uh, there's also been a change for some bolts to put uh, to 40 Nm, that's only on the M 112 engine, that's also strange I think. So um, an M6 bolt needs to be torqued down to 10 Nm uh, when it's 8.8. .8. So that's it then and also the very famous O-rings that go in here, these are the ones that can get you into trouble with older engines which some people say it's because you're running the not the right coolant or different kind of oil and they get bigger. I showed it in an early video when I took these off. Mine were also cracked but not fully through. So the other thing what I'm going to do is put the seal in here, the crank seal on the front side and there's a second thing that's important is the way you should put the sealer. So all the blue lines is where you have to put sealer. The red lines are oil passages. There should not be put any sealer on there. The only thing that needs to be sealed on is number eight of number G, uh, the G, the G, and the G is around here. That's the only place where should be put sealer. But you put it, of course, on here. That's on here. That's the only place, and then you have some other surroundings where you have to put sealer around the bolts. So they're not going to leak to the outside. Um, and that's it. So what I'm going to do now is prepare the timing case and then put the sealer on, put the bolts on and I will show the installment of it. So water pump, I always put a little bit of a sealer on it on both sides because the surfaces are not perfect, not always perfect. So I don't want to have any leaks. So it's a very thin layer, much less than on the other sides. So
So, time to cover is on. Uh, I'm not sure if I filmed it that I put it on. I thought the camera was out, so sorry about that. But it's a little bit critical to get all the bolts in the right positions. Um, a few things that I want to mention, for example on the water pump, if you get this water pump new, this M8 thread is not in there. So uh, in the manual is stating if, you, it is, if it's not a tapped thread, so it needs to be tapped in there, you can do it with a bolt, I think it's strange, but then you have to put this to 35 newton meters and otherwise 25 but it's an m8 bolt all the other m8 bolts in the block are 20. if i talk them down um yeah if people that have more experience with engines and putting bolts in aluminium blocks they know and it would not be the first time that you damage a fret so i put all the m8 bolts to 20 newton meters also these in the pump because they are all in the same block so I put them all in on 20 Nm and they feel it feels correct also with these small bolts I have a, uh, a new torque wrench that will go from 10 to 200 but it's so big that it's not uh, it's too big for those low numbers so I used a smaller one uh, to put it on 10 Nm and uh, it's all pretty correct so the pump is all on 10 Nm these small bolts are all 10 Nm the M6 ones so I'm missing one cover, I have to put it on, this is the same, it also needs to go on 10 Nm and then you have these two hot bolts, uh, they are for the, uh, these two, these two are for the, sorry, these two are for the, ten the tensioner, also M8 and then yeah the rest we will see where they are from. So that's it, so uh, put a new seal in here also done so i got the extra gasket that's over here i got them off so when it's still wet so you don't have the possibility that you that you pull the gasket out of this out, out of the sealed area so now you can see what also is maybe nice to show i saw it on some other videos from people rebuilding an m113 they had like a scratched surface have a look if i can see it on here because then the this chain is slapping on here. You can see on mine, and it never touched. But I think maybe that's the case on a compressor engine that will pull much harder on the crankshaft if if the compressor kicks in. So I think that's maybe the case. Or oh, it's a high level, higher mileage engines and that sort of stuff. Um, also on this engine, you have, uh, on the older engines you have a flat gasket. Later on you have a timing case with. Uh, like an o-ring style like gasket behind a water pump uh, normally you should not have to do any sealant on a paper gasket if you put it in between there I did it because it's an older timing case they have some corrosion spots and, and some not perfect spots so I do it just to make sure it seals so it's a very thin sealer in there the other but what they say about the sealer, you have to lay around two millimeters of a sealer over there. So don't overdo it. So it's of course it's, it's you should be have uh, you should have there enough sealer in it, but don't overdo it. Otherwise it will all go in your oil uh, channels and that sort of stuff. So it all looks much nice. I can turn over the engine. Uh, the chain can get a little bit loose, but it's built in so it cannot drop off the of the chain guides and of the sprockets so that's all good the back cover i didn't show because i did it already last week all m6 bolts all on 10 newton meters it's a magnesium cover um, new sealer seal in here so that's all all nice i think i have a picture of it i will put it on the website so i will do the bottom end closing of the bottom end uh, um, on the last moment because if I drop something I can pick it out so I will turn over the engine and then uh, in the next video I will start on the slender heads so that will be pretty cool to close everything up so thanks for watching hope you like this video about the timing chain oil chain oil pump and the 
timing cover back on the engine. So it's a little bit chaotic to film everything and get the sealer on the right positions, put the bolts in the right positions. So uh, if there are any questions about this uh, subject, uh, don't hesitate to ask. And put some comments below the video or send me an email through the website. Uh, let me know what you think. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.